Breaking Bad is widely acclaimed for its exceptional storytelling, and a significant part of its success can be attributed to its strong visual storytelling. Here are some of the key elements that contribute to the visual storytelling in Breaking Bad. Cinematography and visual style. The use of wide shots of the New Mexico landscape, particularly the desert, adds a distinctive visual character to the series. The use of colour to represent characters' moods or symbolise their transformation is evident. For example, the colour green is often associated with Walter White's alter ego, Heisenberg. The transformation of Walter White is visually represented through his changing appearance. As the series progresses, Walter becomes more hardened and his visual demeanor reflects its change. Visual motifs are used such as the pink teddy bear and the periodic table, serving as a visual metaphor for the consequences of Walter's actions and the chaos he unleashes. Throughout the series there are recurring visual symbols that carry narrative weight. For example, the periodic table which represents Walter's scientific background and his descent into the world of illegal drugs. The fly that appears in the episode, Fly, is a symbol of guilt and contamination, representing the consequences of Walter's actions and the moral decay in his life. This episode also takes you into the mundane reality of White and Pinkman's daily routine while manufacturing crystal meth. The use of visual metaphors is a powerful storytelling tool in Breaking Bad. One notable example is the opening shots in Season 2, foreshadows the plane crash and sets the tone for the season. The show utilises various camera techniques, such as close-ups and point-of-view shots, to intensify the emotional impact of certain scenes. The Breaking Bad team often uses unconventional angles and framing to create a sense of unease and tension. Time-lapse sequences are effectively employed to compress time and convey the passage of time in an engaging manner. These sequences often show the construction or destruction of something significant, reflecting the evolving nature of the characters and the plot. Breaking Bad is notable for its use of montages to condense time and convey information in a visually compelling way. The cooking montages in particular are iconic, showcasing the meticulous process of producing methamphetamines while emphasising the transformation of the characters involved. The attention to detail in cinematography and symbolism contributes to the show's status as a landmark in television history. Walter White's character in Breaking Bad undergoes a profound transformation, evolving from a mild-mannered chemistry teacher to a ruthless drug lord. While he may not fit the clinical definition of a psychopath precisely, he does exhibit several psychopathic traits and undergoes a descent into a morally ambiguous territory. His ego often plays a significant role in his transformation. As he becomes involved in the drug trade, his ego inflates and he seeks recognition for his intelligence and capabilities. This he feels is his due that was robbed from him in both his legal career and civilian life. His narcissistic tendencies contribute to his growing disregard for the well-being of others. Throughout the series, Walter consistently manipulates those around him, using deception to achieve his goals. He lies to his family, friends and associates, showcasing a willingness to exploit others for his own benefit. He also displays an increasing lack of empathy as the series progresses. His actions become more and more callous and he becomes indifferent to the harm caused to others by his decisions. He justifies his immoral actions through a series of rationalizations, initially motivated by a desire to provide for his family's financial future. He later admits to enjoying the power and control associated with the criminal trade, showing his moral decay. Psychopaths often engage in risky behavior, and Walter's choices become increasingly perilous as the series unfolds. He takes extreme risks in the drug trade, disregarding the potential consequences for himself and those around him. His transformation into Heisenberg, his alter ego in the drug trade, reflects a fragmentation of his identity. This duality highlights the disassociation between his initial persona and the ruthless drug lord that he becomes. Walter also struggles to maintain genuine connections with others. As he distances himself from his family, emotionally, he becomes isolated and unable to form meaningful relationships. His interactions with others become transactional rather than based on genuine emotional connection. He becomes increasingly willing to resort to violence to protect his interests and eliminate threats. This escalation in ruthlessness is a hallmark of his descent into a darker, more psychopathic state. It's important to note that while Walter White exhibits psychopathic traits, the character is complex and his motivations are multifaceted. His psychopathy, while not clinically diagnosed, is a central element of the exploration of the human capacity for change and moral compromise. Jesse Pinkman, played by Aaron Paul in Breaking Bad and later explored further, in the film El Camino, undergoes intense internal struggles throughout both narratives. His character arc is marked by a constant battle between his desire for redemption and the pervasive influence of a criminal lifestyle. He is a really good foil for Walter White, being in some ways a mirror character, 
and having morals that Walter White seems to be bereft of. Jesse grapples with guilt over his involvement in the drug trade, particularly his role in Jane's death. This event becomes a haunting burden for him, contributing to a sense of self-blame and fueling his internal conflict. Despite his involvement in illegal activities, he yearns for a chance at redemption. He seeks opportunities to break away from the criminal world and distance himself from the harm he has caused, demonstrating a genuine desire to change. He is repeatedly subjected to abuse and manipulation by those around him, especially Walter White and later Todd. His internal struggle involves navigating these toxic relationships and attempting to assert his autonomy in an environment that constantly exploits him. Jesse's character undergoes a profound loss of innocence as he becomes increasingly enmeshed in the dangerous and morally compromised world of methamphetamine production. His internal struggle involves reconciling the person he once was with the person he has now become. Jesse experiences profound isolation, both physically and emotionally. His internal struggle includes coping with his isolation and attempting to forge genuine connections amidst the chaos. Substance abuse is a significant aspect of Jesse's internal struggles. His use of drugs as a coping mechanism reflects a deeper emotional turmoil. Overcoming addiction becomes a central theme in both Breaking Bad and El Camino. Authority figures, particularly Gus Fring and Walter White, manipulate and control Jesse throughout Breaking Bad. His internal conflict involves navigating these power dynamics and recognizing when he is being used for someone else's agenda. Jesse endures severe trauma throughout the series, including physical violence and emotional manipulation. His struggle with post-traumatic stress is evident in his erratic behavior and emotional distress. In El Camino, the film provides a more more in-depth exploration of Jesse's internal struggles following his escape from captivity. As he attempts to start anew, he faces the challenge of evading the law and the ghost of his past, further delving into the complexities of his character. His internal struggles are a poignant aspect of his character, contributing to the depth and realism of his portrayal in both Breaking Bad and El Camino. His journey becomes a central narrative thread, offering viewers a nuanced exploration of the human capacity for change and resilience in the face of adversity. I think the key difference between Jesse and Walter is one of their individual perceived identity. White's psychopathy is entrenched in a definite sense of his own ego and identity, whereas Jesse's problems stem from an adopted facade which masks how lost he really is, especially at the beginning of Breaking Bad. Another interesting mirror character and a really good foil for Walter White is Gus Fring, portrayed by Giancarlo Esposito in Breaking Bad. He serves as a compelling counter-villain to Walter White. The juxtaposition of these two characters creates a tense and complex dynamic within the series. Gus Fring operates with a highly methodical and calculated approach, unlike Walter's impulsive and erratic behavior. Gus is meticulous and strategic in his actions. He represents a stark contrast to Walter's chaotic and unpredictable nature. One of Fring's defining characteristics is his emotional restraint. He rarely displays overt emotions and maintains maintains a composed exterior, even in intense situations. In contrast, Walter White becomes increasingly volatile and emotional as the series progresses. Fring is portrayed as a shrewd businessman who has built a sophisticated drug empire while maintaining a legitimate front. His professionalism and ability to balance illegal activities with a public facade highlights a level of sophistication that contrasts with Walter White's more haphazard approach. Gus keeps his motivations and personal life well guarded, adding an air of mystery to his characters. In contrast, White's motivations, particularly his initial attempt to provide for his family, are more transparent. Gus's enigmatic nature serves as a foil to Walter's more openly conflicted persona. Fring prefers revolving conflicts through careful negotiation and manipulation. He avoids direct confrontation whenever possible, whereas Walter tends to confront challenges head-on, often resorting to violence. This divergence in their approaches creates a tension and intrigue in their interactions. Fring is depicted as having a long-term vision for his drug empire. He plans and executes with a focus on sustainability and minimizing risks. In contrast, White's decisions are often driven by short-term goals and immediate survival, leading to a clash in their leadership styles. Gus maintains strict discipline and control over his operations, demanding loyalty and efficiency. 
Walter's operation, on the other hand, becomes increasingly chaotic and fraught with internal conflicts. This contrast in leadership style adds layers to their roles as antagonists. Fring is presented as a refined and cultured individual, fluent in multiple languages with an appreciation for the arts. This sophistication contrasts with Walter White's more down-to-earth and initially unassuming demeanour, underscoring the multifaceted nature of their characters. Ultimately, the dynamic between Fring and White is a central element in Breaking Bad. Their opposing qualities creates a nuanced exploration of morality, power and the consequences of choices. The presence of Gus Fring serves to highlight the complexities within the world of the show and adds a layer of depth to the overarching narrative. Vince Gilligan manages to execute all of this by creating character-driven storytelling. Gilligan places a strong emphasis on character development, allowing the narrative to evolve organically based on the character's motivations and actions. This approach results in complex multi-dimensional characters, with Walter White's transformation being a prime example. Gilligan explores moral ambiguity, presenting characters faced with difficult choices and moral dilemmas. The line between right and wrong is often blurred, challenging viewers to question their own moral compass. This theme is central to Walter White's character arc and the broader narrative of Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad holds a significant and revered place in television history for several reasons. It is widely regarded as a landmark in television history due to its compelling storytelling, complex characters, cinematic quality, critical acclaim, cultural impact and lasting influence on the television landscape. The series set a new standard for excellence in TV drama and remains a touchstone for the medium. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for notifications. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.